So Pixel experience based on Android freaking Pi is here for Redmi Note 3. Yes, it is unofficial. Yes, it still has bugs. But hey, what's happening guys? This is Tito back with another video on the mighty Redmi Note 3. And today I'm gonna show you how to install it. As you can see, I'm on official Lineage OS right now, which is running on Android 7.1.2 Nougat. And to do this, make sure you have backed up everything from your device to a PC or somewhere. You have officially unlocked bootloader and official TWRP cover installed and you are doing it on your own risk. So here I have downloaded the file and it's the 20th August 2018 build which is an official one again. The file size is almost 858 MB and you do not need any kind of gapps over here because Google Play services and stuff is already included in this ROM build because of course it's pixel experience. But if you want to flash unofficial Nitrogen OS based on Android Pie, you're gonna be needing some gapps. So now let me just power off the device and let's boot into TWRP recovery by pressing the volume up and the power button together. And as you can see, I'm using official TWRP 3.2.2.0 here. Now before wiping make sure you did back up everything although we do not need to format storage here so your data should be fine but just in case something goes wrong it's always good to have a backup right? Alright so from advanced wipe select cache, dalvik, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once that's done go home go to install. Now locate the build zip. Again for pixel experience we do not need any gapps just this rom file we need. So yeah, let's just select it and swipe to confirm flash. And once you see the flashing procedure completed successfully, just hit reboot system and keep patience. Here we have the cool boot animation and the welcome screen of the Android Pi. Looks pretty cool. Let me complete the setup from here. and it's searching for Wi-Fi and yeah Wi-Fi does work as you can see it found my Wi-Fi so let me just connect to it the only bugs which are present over here in this build is Bluetooth, Vault and camera is not working and all other things are working super fine here as far as I know and we will see if there are any other bugs or not and as you can see we have the fingerprint scanner option I'm just setting it up looks cool i mean the setup wizard looks pretty dope of android pi it's so clean and a little colorful as much as it should be android pi is just so convenient in my opinion we are almost done with the setup and i'm just restoring the backup so my previous roms wallpaper is here and here we have the home screen and here we have the quick settings panel as you can see Everything is Android Pie over here, of course. As you can see, the torch is working, but it's a little bit buggy as I tried to turn it off. The torch did turn off, but the icon shows it's still on. I don't know for what particular reason, but it's a little bit buggy. All right, so let's leave it for now. Here we have the colorful settings panel of Android Pie, as you can see. And inside system, we have gestures. And let's see if the swipe up gesture, I mean the swipe up home gesture is there or not. And let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it works. As you can see, the swipe up home gesture is working super fine. Although the animation seems a bit choppy over here in my opinion. Maybe because it's just the first boot. And let's go back and let's go inside about phone. Inside system, here as you can see, device name shows as Redmi Note 3. Android version of course 9. And you can get the easter egg by tapping on it multiple times as you can see it's just hallucinating. Let's go back. Here we have the build number as you can see it's the 20th August 2018 unofficial build and security patch is of August 5th 2018. And let's go back again inside display. We have the light dark UI mode as you can see. If you set it to dark as you can see the quick toggles turns dark but the settings panel background still stays white. Animations are fine now as you can see it's not lagging as much as it used to like a few minutes ago. 
we even have adaptive or auto brightness over here working super fine as you can see let me just adjust the brightness again nightlight is there it's working fine as you can see it turns the display yellowish you can even change the intensity of it and inside settings you will find this digital well-being on the bottom of the settings which is a special thing of android pie and as you can see we have this wind down option over here which makes the screen grayscale i guess in do not disturb mode or at night and you can watch the status from here that which apps you used for the past times and inside battery we have the battery saver we have the battery manager looks pretty cool and colorful you can check the full battery usage from here from the three dots and we have the battery percentage option over here as you can see now it shows the battery percentage on the status bar and as you can see the camera simply doesn't work over here i tried to open multiple times but it's just for stopping so camera simply doesn't work so i rebooted the device at this point to get the same network working or just to get the network and to see if the camera works fine after a reboot or not so after the reboot i managed to get geo 4g data working as you can see on the network bar it shows 4g as you can see i tried to open google from chrome and yeah 4g data is working fine as you can see we are in google.com so yeah at least works fine i mean the 4g data works fine and yeah of course wi-fi does work but faulty is totally broken as of now but what i have noticed later on is incoming calls on vaulty sometimes does work but neither you can pick it up or nor call back so that's how it is i hope the vaulty gets fixed in the future update so that i myself can use this rom as my daily driver and can recommend you guys to use this rom as your daily driver here is the fingerprint scanner speed yes it's a bit slower than one would like it but at least it works i have fpc fingerprint scanner by the way I don't know if Godix is working or not. I think it's not. And here we have the Android Pie volume panels which comes from the sides of course. Looks pretty cool and convenient as well. But I'm just glad that Redmi Note 3 now running on Android Pie which is a huge huge thing in my opinion and huge thanks to the developers. And you can directly go into sound settings from here. From here you can control media, call, ring and alarm volume so everything is in one place. So which is a great thing and here we have the Android Pie's new recent apps panel and it's running pretty smooth considering this is a very early build. You can switch between apps very quickly as you can see. And from here you can go to a particular apps into split screen or something. And as you can see the recent apps panel is totally of Android Pie of course and it's working super fine. Now let me show you the quick settings panel again. And you can add stuff from here in the quick settings panel. And even for hotspot there is 5 GHz band there which is a great thing. Well yeah. It's true that as of now I can't recommend you using this ROM as your daily driver as the camera, bluetooth and faulty does not simply work. But still, you should know that our beloved Redmi Note 3 is really running Android Pie. Well, it's running really well. As Wi-Fi, fingerprint scanner etc works fine at least. And it's definitely gonna be better from this point. That's been it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe and share this video with your friends if you feel like it and if you would love to see more contents like this. This is Tito and you guys have been watching Carry and Tech and I'll catch you guys later.